Your total is $15. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where did I put my wallet? Uh, oh, no. It's gone. Is everything okay? I I'm sorry. I seem to have misplaced my wallet. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. What to do? I don't have any cash at home. I'm Rio, a 22-year-old college student. I was raised by a single mother, but she passed away two years ago, so I'm living on my own right now. And well, I'm totally broke. I went to this restaurant today as a treat for myself to celebrate my birthday. Oh, this is the worst. I came here to enjoy a nice dinner by myself, but now I'm in deep trouble. I can't believe I lost my wallet. What am I gonna do? If you need to, you can stop by your house real quick to pick up some money. Or you could call a family member to bring it to you. Either way, it's totally up to you. The problem is, that wallet had all my cash, as well as my ATM and credit cards. I don't have any money, and I don't have any family. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! I'm really sorry about this. I'll wash dishes or whatever to pay my bill. We don't actually do that. Hey there, lovely lady! Happy birthday! I'll pay your bill. Excuse me, who are you? I'm the guy that's gonna pay your bill! That's cool, right? Well, I don't have any reason to say no. Are you sure you want to do that, though? Of course! Go ahead and tell me the total and I'll cover it for her! That's very generous of you, but I would feel terrible for having a total stranger pay my bill. Please, I insist! Consider it my birthday present to you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, enjoy the rest of your birthday, miss. Wait, come back! I can't let this guy pay for my bill. I gotta catch up to him. Stop! Please! Wait up! Huh? Oh, it's you! The girl from the restaurant! <sighs> I finally caught you. What's up? I... Uh, I wanted... Uh... I know! You wanted me to sing happy birthday to you, right? How could I forget to sing for you on your birthday? N no, that's not it! Here we go! We wash you a merry leekmas, we wash you a merry leekmas, we wash you a merry leekmas, and a happy birthday! I didn't want you to sing the happy birthday song for me. A and besides, that's a birthday song, and you got the lyrics wrong! What does washing leeks have to do with Christmas? And only that last line had anything to do with birthdays. Shouldn't that take a more primary role in a birthday song? The meal you ate at the restaurant had roasted leeks in it. You were watching me? Wait a minute, back up. How did you even know it was my birthday? Oh, that. Before you started to eat, you whispered, Happy birthday to me, to yourself. It was a pretty loud whisper and you weren't being subtle at all. I bet everyone around you heard too. You heard me saying that? Oh, how embarrassing! Oh, I forgot to introduce myself! My name's Leon. What's your name? I'm Rio. Oh, so you were born on the Rio Grande! No, I was born in Japan. It's a common girl's name. Now, can we please get back to the main issue here? What main issue? Uh, you forgot already? Well, anyway, Leon. Thank you so much for paying my bill at the restaurant. I'm afraid that I don't have any money right now, but I'll pay you back as soon as I can. You don't need to repay me. It's a birthday gift from me to you, Rio Grande. I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. We don't even know each other. Oh, I know. How about this? You can hold on to this until I pay you back. Huh? A watch? I doubt you'd trust me to pay you back without some collateral. What are you talking about, Rio Grande? I trust you. How can you trust me when you don't even know me? Just take it, okay? No can do. Why not? Because the watch looks like it's super important to you. Well, yes, it may be old and worn, but it is very special to me. I could never accept that from you. You should hold on to it very tightly. But... It's a very valuable thing. And it smells great, mm. It's valuable. And it smells good? I don't understand. To be honest, I'm not even sure this watch is worth the $15 I owe you. <laughs> there you are, Leon. The meeting's about to start. Hey, 
Hey, Mamoru! Don't worry, I remembered. I was sprinting toward the office to make it on time when Rio Grande here stopped me. Rio Grande? You mean the river on the border between Mexico and America? It's just Rio! He started calling me that randomly and won't listen to me when I tell him to stop. Do you know this guy? Would you mind talking some sense into him? How old are you, Rio? Me? I'm 22 years old. Why? Okay. Okay? What's okay? Hey! Don't hit on Rio Grande like that! Her name is Rio, didn't you hear her? Why do you keep calling her that? Small correction, her name is Rio and I wasn't hitting on her. I noticed you didn't deny hitting on me. Although you are absolutely incredible. Huh? Anyway, let's go, Leon. Man, do I have to? Meh, whatever. Let's go! See you later, Rio. See ya! See you, Rio Grande! It's just Rio! Man, these guys are exhausting to be around. They don't seem like they're bad guys, though. I wonder if this watch really is valuable. This watch that Leon thinks is valuable is actually a memento of my mother. I didn't really want to give it to him, but I had nothing else to offer. I guess I'll just have to get in the money as soon as my next paycheck comes. I'm totally broke for the moment. Sometime later, I found myself sitting in the waiting room for a job interview. This company would be great to work for, and I made it all the way to the final interview. Here we go! Mr. Satanaka, you can come in now. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Relax. This is a job interview, not the military. This is the final interview. It's mostly just a formality. Go ahead and take a seat. Thank you very much. The company president had an urgent matter come up, but he should be back before too long. He's an easygoing guy. I think you'll like him. That's good to hear. In the meantime, let's get started. It says here you're attending Yuasa University. That's a very prestigious school. Yeah, t to be honest, I'm surprised they let me in. My mother graduated from Uwasa University, and I wanted to follow in her footsteps by going to the same school as her. Oh, so your mother was an alumnus. That's right! Brains must run in your family, then! Wait, what's this? Is something wrong? Could I see that watch? I'm not the most knowledgeable, but I'm interested in watches. Go ahead. What the? <laughs> this thing is a piece of junk! I've never even heard of this, Brad. It can't be worth any more than a hundred dollars! I guess Leon was wrong. But it's still very valuable to me. I wish you wouldn't criticize it like that. This is a memento of my mother. I always keep it with me to keep my mother's memory fresh in my mind. The memento of your mother, huh? So I guess you were raised by a single father then? Actually, no. I never knew my father. I have no idea if he's even alive or not. The truth is, I don't know anything about my dad. My mom would never tell me anything about him, even when I asked. Oh, I see. No father either. Yeah, it's lucky that I was the one to give you your final interview. Well, that tells me everything I needed to know. It does? You're wearing a junky watch. You have no parents. Your resume is all lies, isn't it? There's no way to let someone like you into your Wasa University. But I'm enrolled there right now. I graduate this spring. You can give it up. Don't waste your time. You're acting my fool, some third-rate businessman, but it won't work on me. But it's the truth. And now you're paying for tuition. An orphan like you could never afford it. I work part-time and I got scholarships? <laughs> wow, you prepared a story for everything, huh? But it was all for nothing. Well, I've seen right through you. Now hurry up and get out of my office. Wait, please, you have to believe me. I'm not lying. Call Uwasa University's admissions office and ask them. Wow, you're desperate. I guess I can understand why you would be. Your company is part of the Uwasa group. Getting a job here will have you set for life. Now, I'm very busy, so would you please get out of here? Oh, this can't be happening. I can't believe it. After all I went through to get here. I burned the candle at both ends, working all day while studying for school and preparing for my interview all night. 
I made it all the way to the final interview, only to be turned away because of my mother's watch. I won't let this happen. Please, sir, let me explain. Well, I just told you. Sorry to keep you waiting. A guest came by my office and then got held up. Hmm? What did I miss? Ah, oh, President Tabita! Oh, this interview is over. It is? Already? Yes, this applicant falsified her resume. She claims she went to Yuasa University, but she's actually a high school dropout. No, I'm not! I'm enrolled at Yuasa University right now, honest! President Tabita, take a look at her watch and you'll understand. Yuasa University would never admit anyone who wears a cheap piece of junk watch like this. Their tuition is really expensive. I'm glad I was able to see through her scheme before it's too late. You won't listen to me no matter what I say. I guess I have no choice but to give up and go home. I'm sorry to waste your time. I'll be leaving now. Hold on just a moment, young lady. I'd like to take a closer look at that watch of yours. Yeah, you should see it for yourself, President Tamita. Have you ever seen a watch like this? It's total garbage. Where did you get this? It was a gift from my mother before she died. From your mother? What was her name? Her name was Miyoko. Miyoko, I knew it. Did you know my mother? Was your mother married? No, she wasn't. She raised me all by herself. She never told me anything about my father. I see. <laughs> are... are you alright? President Alexander, are you crying? What's your name? It's Rio. Rio, that's a lovely name. Has anyone ever told you that you look just like your mother? Miyoko, why, Miyoko? Why didn't she tell me? Why? It didn't have to be this way! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad! <laughs> what are you saying? President Alexander stood there crying for some time. What's up, guys? Sorry for the intrusion. Ah, looks like the two of you finally met. That's great. Wait, Leon and Mamoru? What are you doing here? These two men are the president and vice president of the Ugamori group. <gasps> You're kidding! These guys run the Ugamori group? Yep, we sure do! Why didn't you tell me about that the other day? Well, because you didn't ask. I... I guess I didn't. Leon and Mamori were the ones who instructed me to ensure you reached the final interview. They did? But why? Because you're an incredibly valuable human resource. You managed to deal with my older brother's nonsense longer than anyone ever has. I would have hired you directly myself. But when I learned you were applying to one of our affiliate companies, I figured you'd just be as much of an asset here. Plus, when I started looking into you, I discovered some uh, pretty interesting information. Interesting? I think President Tamita should be the one to tell you about that. Rio, I'm fairly certain that you are my daughter. What? You're... my father? That's impossible. It's the truth! I dated your mother, Miyoko, when we were both young. But one day I was assigned to an overseas position that would last for several years. So we broke up. I told Miyoko that I would quit my job to be with her. But she told me she didn't want to interfere with my career. She had seen how dedicated I was to my job, so she encouraged me not to quit. She knew if I didn't take the overseas position, my career would have hit a dead end. Uh, that sounds like my mother. I had no idea that she was pregnant back then. But there's no way to know if I'm your daughter. No, I'm sure of it! That what you have was the first present I ever bought for Miyoko, back when we were planning this. You gave my mother this watch? Yes. I looked into it myself as well. And I'm positive that the two of you are father and daughter. Yeah! The biggest hint was that you smelled just like my favorite restaurant in Rio de Janeiro! President Tamita has the same smell too. When I realized that, I knew I had to arrange for the two of you to meet. 
It's all thanks to that restaurant, Rio de Janeiro. First it was Rio Grande, and now it's Rio de Janeiro. If you're gonna get my name wrong, can you at least stick to one country? She's amazing. So, are you really my dad? I am. Oh boy, this is not good. Don't think we've forgotten about you over there! I hope you're ready for some consequences! Please, no! You had to see this coming. After what you did during her interview. Oh, I'm ruined! That's how I finally got to meet my dad. I'm still processing everything, but it does feel pretty incredible to know that my father was out there all along. As for the guy who gave me my interview, he got demoted, and was sent to a leak farm in the middle of nowhere, where he's tending to the field all alone, all day, every day. How am I supposed to do all this for myself? Somebody! Help me! <sighs> Onions again? After that, I graduated from college and started working in my dad's company. My dad paid off my tuition and living expenses, so I was able to have a much more relaxing end to my college life. My dad and I go out for dinner every week to catch up and share stories about my mom. Leon! There you are! Oh, it's Rio Grande! I was looking for you! You were? Yeah, it's the leak! What's up with you and leaks? Well, I do like them, so I guess I'll take it. Enjoy! I wanted to give you the $15 I owe you. I told you, you didn't need to pay me back. Please, I made a promise and I want to keep my word. You really are a good person, Rio Plus Ten. Leon, you're taking this name thing way too far. Rio Plus Ten was an environmental summit held 20 years ago in South Africa. Man, I wish I would have hired you myself. Hey, let's celebrate your birthday together next year. We're friends now, aren't we? Wouldn't you like to have a party with your friends? <laughs> you know what? That sounds fantastic. All right. You're never going to have a lonely birthday ever again. Lonely? Leon, stop! No, no. I told you not to tell anyone about that! Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm very grateful to the both of you. It's thanks to you two that I got to meet my dad, as well as landed a great job. I'm happier than I've ever been before. Nah, that's not because of anything we did. It was your mom. What did my mom do? Don't you remember? The reason we got interested in you in the first place was your watch. I knew that was a special watch right away. It looked like it had been worn with love for a really long time. I thought that anyone who would be wearing a watch like that must be a very special person. <laughs> you saw right through me, huh? You take good care of that watch, you hear? Of course! Wow, so all of this was thanks to my mom. I don't think she did the right thing when she broke up with my dad in order to not be a burden on him. Dad was really sad when he learned the truth. But I can tell that my mom both loved me and my dad very much. I know she must have had her reasons for doing what she did, so I don't resent her for anything. She loved me more than anyone could imagine, and now I'm happier than anyone could imagine. I'm sure she's watching over us from heaven right now. And someday, when I'm old, I'll be able to go and meet her. So me, my mom, and my dad can 